There is a ranch in Nevada less than 80 miles from Area 51 that was secretly researched by Bob Bigelow's original Skinwalker Ranch team of psychic spies. For decades, while simultaneously researching Skinwalker Ranch, the NIDS team was searching for the lost entrance into a giant cave system of ancient alien artifacts, an abandoned alien mining operation leading to a 500-foot underground pyramid hiding a UFO nicknamed the Mount Wilson Manta Ray. For thousands of years, indigenous people have known and protected its secrets. For decades, top secret government teams, even before Ronald Reagan's Star Wars program, were scouring the ranch attempting to recover the metamaterials, biological material, and ancient unknown artifacts, and were stopped by an explosion of paranormal activity. Animal mutilations, alien abductions, poltergeist activity, moving orbs of light and shadow figures, strange glitches in time, and the ghost of a Native American shaman appearing along with three extraterrestrial beings who protect the land. Now, new leaked whistleblower evidence has confirmed the truth behind these local legends. New ancient artifacts are being discovered and mysterious energy is transmitting from the meadow and an undiscovered tunnel entrance has been found. Independent researchers, scientists, archaeologists, and Native American historians have joined me, Carl Crusher, to uncover the truth. We are on a mission to find the lost entrance into the underground and uncover the real mystery of Mount Wilson Ranch. Our energies, the lower meadow and the mine area. So we've been very focused on the mine area, which is where we saw these potential entrances into the tunnels that we suspected in the area. So with both mine one and mine two, we actually turned to blasting. We actually started using shaped charges to blast nice. both mines. In the middle of a snowstorm. What is snowing in it? How did that go? We could not get deep enough, but with all of our blasting and all of our excavating, mine one looks like it was the older of the two mines, potentially the less interesting mine, because it looks like it was naturally filled. Mine two gave us a lot of pause because it looked like it was intentionally filled. Okay. And our question became, why would anyone take the time to fill a hole? If it was a non-productive mine... You would just leave it. And who filled it in? Who and why? Did Bigelow do it? Or was it done 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago? Right. Now, all of this, like I said, is at the mines themselves. But the same land mass actually flows down to something called a lower meadow. And then we took it to the magnetometer, and this is what our magnetometer showed us. Oh, look at that. This square area here, this is the lower meadow. That's clearly artificial. That looks like a phased array. It sure does. It looks like a phased array antenna system built under the ground. You see where I'm going with this, Eric? Mm -hmm. We've heard rumors that certain low frequencies in that range could be used to not only detect UAPs, but possibly even take them down. But I never knew them to bury them. They were always on, on the surface. Like a low frequency beam or something? Well, just a phased array radar. The rumors that ra is actually radar that brought down the Roswell thing, assuming it was real. You know, I don't have any evidence one way or the other, but my point is that's just another one of the stories we've heard that kind of fits in the in the why Bigelow would have been interested. Right, right. But if, he, if Bigelow would have found that, he would have stayed. That's what yeah. I thought too. Unless, yeah. unless somebody told him to get the, you know, get out. <laughs> I mean, it makes me wonder now, I mean, I hadn't thought about it this way, what test did he carry out in the Lower Meadow specifically, since that's where we got such intense, intensely strange readings. Right, it's, it's hard for me to believe that he would sell this ranch if he found this type of data. Yeah. Odie. Odie, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, she got some dead bird or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, gross, what a funny start. Welcome back to the Carl Crusher channel. Everybody, I'm here at Mount Wilson Ranch. We have had the entire history channel up here for the episode of Beyond Skinwalker back in January when they came here in the snowstorm. And then I've done a follow-up visit up here, gone home, done some work to prep for the release of the show, and now back up at Mount Wilson Ranch. And here we are down below the lower meadow where all that winter runoff that you saw on the television episode 
has carved this entire crack down through the driveway and the parking lot below the lower meadow that goes down uh, to where the corrals are, where the horses, where are the, the goats are there, and where the trees that could have been planted by Johnny Appleseed are right over here. So it's just bright early in the morning. We're going to be meeting up later this afternoon with an archaeologist from the Uinta Basin Archaeological Society uh, who has worked at Skinwalker Ranch and I have met up there and become friends with. And Chris is going to be coming as an archaeologist to look at some of the pottery, the artifacts, and help us date and figure out what is going on up here and maybe what could be underground. So a lot of really cool, exciting stuff going on. Last time I was up here, I came up with Kyle and we were metal detecting all the way down Craw Creek and pulling all kinds of weird artifacts and pieces of metal, um, hose clamps, signs of heavy operation and different stuff going on. And on this trip tonight, uh, up here to Mount Wilson, I actually have my brother Damon with me and his son and I brought Kyle and it looks like Jeff's over here on the phone and we're just getting started for the day. Well, Jeff, we watched the episode on the History Channel live last night. I know when you're watching this on YouTube, it's weeks later probably, <laughs> but we just watched it on History Channel. How does it feel? Yeah, it was great that the day finally came. <laughs> it was really cool, right? Yes. They got to actually show everything going on up at the lava vent tubes and everything. But you guys know now you're up to speed we found what could be the real entrance, the mine shaft, all of that stuff up behind uh, Jeff's place up there. Totally different location. It's going to be interesting to have the archaeologists and other people come and look at it. Um, Jerry's already checked it out, but we have a, a lot to do. What do you think? What should we do today? Well, we it depends on the weather. We actually have rain once again, a light little uh, shower. I see thunderstorms in the forecast. We had plans we were going to go maybe... Uh, circle around the other part of Squaw Knoll that we didn't get to look for, the petroglyphs. Uh, we were talking about maybe going up to the lava vent tubes and up around a different way up to the shaman cave, but a lot of it is determined by what the ranch decides we're going to do. And uh, that might actually be up around behind your house because we found a few things walking around last night and there is some explaining to do. Technically, we could break out the backhoe if we want to take a little dig. I mean, uh, let's go poke around up there and then we'll decide. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Doing all right. Doing all right. How did it feel to sleep minus like high powered EMF pumping you? Dude, Got cried, baby goats. That, that's good. Sometimes you, sometimes that works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love being back home. Yeah. Whew. Oh, yeah. I, I was out. Yes. I didn't have any dreams or anything. Oh, but we did get like that orb in the saloon last night, right? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So, okay, I'm going to edit that in right here. Here's the weird orb in the saloon. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. Yeah, that baby's already running around. Yeah. yeah. Eating grass. Happy. Cute. And they're all prey go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in trouble. <laughs> Carl, Carl's gonna have some new babies at his I, yard. I don't need any more goats at my place. <laughs> yes, you do. I, they three that I have. You need to let them up here in the meadow so we can find more artifacts or something. Yeah, well, <laughs> people have problems with that. I know. Uh -huh. People are complaining, even mm. out here, even in the Wild West. They're doing their job. Yes. Down in this. As soon as you put a metal detector that down at that level, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Divert the creek some more. Yeah, I diverted it with animals. Yep. Yeah, not who cares, you know, that type of thing. Let it do its thing, then I could always just come through and just grade it, fix it all back up. It's a very rare treat for the meadow to be able to absorb this much uh, water, though, so it's perfect. Every which direction it goes, excellent.
Find anything over there? Nothing this morning, huh? Yeah, just a we could truck. get the kids down here going with the metal detectors, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yeah, not so much water flow. Remember the whole change? Now it's down. I think I'll have to go up there and just push some dirt and make the water come back through here. Yeah. May as well. That way it'll absorb that much more water into the meadow. What did Odie find? She got a chicken or something in some there? Some dead bird, yeah. Yeah, she is good at catching that shit, especially with this grass now. Yeah. Sneaking through the grass. She can get right up on it, huh? Yep. Flowers galore this year, right? The desert's alive. What is all this stuff, Jeff? Like, we keep finding this concrete, but it's like this old foamy stuff this here i i'm unsure you know again it must just be a way of controlling water management maybe from the yeah coast. maybe just an overspill from concrete i have no idea it seems to work well it's definitely meant to turn the creek from digging down in somewhere or whatever but yeah we find this weird haphazard just slopped around cement mix laying around in fact up on the hill back up there there's chunks of this stuff all embedded into foundation. cinder cinder block cinder foundations block. up there by the abandoned mine there's some of your metal is there metal in there yeah right there you can actually see that one sitting there like a bracket of some sort oh yeah look at that oh hey damon <laughs> just kidding <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I almost put my foot right on that moss thinking it was like a rock I could stand on. No, there's a chunk of metal down in there. I want, we got we to gotta find a stick and fish it out. Was, oh, that's a good idea. I'm the Look cameraman I today. Get, I don't want to get wet feet. I know. <laughs> I'm all right in the middle there. Yeah. Don't get... Yeah. Straddle. There you go. Give him a shove. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, dude, look at that. Yeah. What the heck? License plate holder or something? Or what's gonna have to... Weird. Right, I'm stuck. Give me a hand. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what is that? Wing nuts. Yeah, look, that's like supposed to hold like a sign or something, right? It looks kind of like that. Like yeah. this would clamp on the side of a fence or a truck or whatever, and then there's the sign hanger. That's kind of cool, man. We should use that stuff at the Hang front gate or something. something. Yeah. Open sign. Private. Closed. Do not enter. Filming. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah. This was. Uh -oh, this would clamp oh, in yeah. on whatever post uh -oh. or whatever, and then Come these up here See, would have been screwed on to like a piece of paper or wood or whatever, like a clipboard almost that could hang down. You could even hang something long off of that, off the side of a building or anything. That's cool. <laughs> like, what is it doing in the creek down here? From what? Oh, is this natural as well? With this piece of metal embedded in it? Wait, is that metal right there? Rust sticking out of that piece of... On the rock? In the rock? That looks like concrete. Oh. As well. That does look like foamy stuff there, right? Yeah. Well, here's some just like laying there. on the ground right here. Look. It's got some wire kind of embedded in it. Meta material. Ooh, more of it. Look oh, at that. that chunky looking. Uh, energy. Whoa. And then just like quartz. Is that what they were mining? Who knows? Gold. Hoping, that would be a gold I'm mine then, it's right? An obsidian mine too, though. That, would be oh. kind of neat. that might be. All the obsidian we find around here. I mean, of course, I'm hoping what, palladium, platinum, meta. Meta material. Yeah. A UFO, giant pyramid, craft, structure buried. I'd take an answer to where all that obsidian comes from. That's more of that rubber stuff. Yeah. And we find these, like, 
pneumatic like hose clamps like they were using air hammers and stuff to mine with oh there definitely is a lot of clamps around a lot of and that's right up the hill look at this right here that's called roots. oh gotcha oh right there and there's a huge metal and then there's some kind of square glass oh cool poking out of the... oh you know what, what, like what is that whole bottom. thing Hey, what is that called? Yeah, Mudlarking? What is that called? Step right at the creek and get Come on, now, let's go do some mudlarking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this whole thing is like a concrete cylinder right in the yeah, middle. Yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> Almost like a fence post base that pulled up. That is the bottom of a bottle. Look at that. That's Hold this good. camera. All right, I got you. All's going in. Just the top or the bottom of it. Huh. Look at that. That's cool. You think the top's in there? Yeah, it says. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty neat one. Let's see if you can get down there. Bottle thus far. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I never found one just exposed like that. That's pretty neat. And that's definitely from the flow Should of the Should I tree. try and pull this hunk of metal out? Yeah, why not? We always do a little cleanup. This is newly exposed. That's in there, man. That's not coming out. Backhoe material. Oh. There could be more bottle right down in there. I just can't. Yeah, that's, we'll have to yank that out later. Wow, look at this, Odie's just stepping up on that. She's <laughs> really progressing. <laughs> Is she normally afraid of it? She's, uh, yeah, she was leery. This was the first year for water for her. Really? So now she, look. Look at her go. <laughs> She's a water dog. Oh, my. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, she figured it out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cool, man. Yeah. What does it say on the bottom here? Yeah, I'm not in for wet feet in the morning. Right off the bat, but I really like to see. One zero nine four six six. Cool. It is. It's like there's a whole other building and stuff down here that yeah, was tore down that's all been exposed now whatever was buried under because this is like a concrete cylinder oh, this is like cement coming out hey look right there damon come grab this thing there's like a whole like a lid or something right there straight down under the tall sticks there's like a round thing What the heck is that? It totally is just like a lid. What the heck, man? There's a major operation going on up here at some point, man. Yeah. It's here. We have a tray to set it all in now. Like, <laughs> what is this? Check that one out. What the hell, man? That's heavy. What is this? This is like a... This pipe is like full of lead. It's like a solid stainless steel rod. Crazy. You got metal over there too? Yeah. What is all this, man? Junk. 
<laughs> from a lot of stuff going on, obviously, down this deep. Yeah. Amazing. So here, I'm just going to set this here. Come over here. It's like first person view, like you guys are the ones doing it with me, see? Come pick up the junk. So we don't forget it. This is all going to end up in a museum behind the saloon. We're not even trying. Yeah, it, that's easy. We don't even have metal detectors. It's just like walking around. Hunks of metal. There's wire over there of some sort. Stuck on the edge. Right. Old copper, you can see the old copper sticking out of it, coming out. More stuff just got to get out of here. It's oh, yeah. Copper. It's all oxidizing green. That wood doesn't look like a piece of just, just you know, it looks like manufactured wood. Is it, see that cable right there going into the... That black cable. Really? So and apparently then this was a parking spot for horses where they actually cooled down a set of horses when another set would come in. Over here? Yeah. Oh? In this Stage building. Coach yep. Stuff. Yeah. yeah, this is a, an original of the property as well. Back in the Wild West days. Yep. Yeah. That would be the, the last set of horses apparently from here to Pioche. So the stagecoach would pull right up here. Everybody that was staying in the settler's house in the meadow that needed a ride into Pioche would come out and get on the stagecoach right here and ride into town. But what else was going on up here even after that where all this mining and equipment, all these giant pieces of, stain, of like steel. Like we find so many horseshoes around here. Horseshoes oh, and everything. Unlimited, yeah. Amazing. And there's just like metallic parts and implements almost like a steampunk factory was up here, you know? Well, again, they had somehow, whenever electric came around, they had it up here pretty quick. Right? And somebody up here had a lot of money. You look at the saloon and the lodge and the way it's all designed. See, this is like a sinkhole I'm standing on. And then right underneath me, we hop down in here. And look, here's this whole metal rod coming out of the earth material all like three feet deep buried down here like the meadow was filled in or covered over over top oh, of all this stuff go. oh yeah there's a whole other bar coming out of the hill oh look <laughs> and right there's the other part of it right where you ran your pipe through <laughs> yo <laughs> right next to right through all of it what the hell crazy something's buried under this meadow yeah, man it's unbelievable how much metal that comes out of here and then some sort of fiber string right yeah all the way you cut a trench down through here and it's just artifacts 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 well, no that was the water that cut that baby no i'm just saying if you did if you oh, if yeah. we kept going deeper like who yeah, knows well, that, you know here, yeah. the water did all this naturally and revealed it which that has been the theme, man. It's like the earth has just been like, look what's here, Carl and Jeff. Look what's over here, Jeff. Look yeah, at where the, the mine entrance is. It's like, now's years. the time. Here's, you guys are going to figure out what's underground this year. That sounds right? good. Oh, that sounds good to me. Yes, sir. The giant chain, whatever that goes to. Yeah, man. See, I mean, it's just like mother nature did all of this. And now, bingo, we're evidence everywhere. It just boggles my mind that, you know, there's so many other programs and research locations that are all very valid historically and as far as findings and yeah, artifacts and everything going on. This year. The water was right at right just about ready to dislodge the dam level. Yeah, it diverted and went all around and that's what caused that trench over there. We actually sandbagged it. Well, my neighbors sandbagged it up and made it so. But we come up here and it's just like Again, piles of this mountain needed this desperately. Piles of artifacts, this right? Mountain you know what I mean? Needed this desperately. Crazy. Crazy. 
We'll just leave all this here for now, I guess. <laughs> we'll gather it all up. <laughs> Time to feed the chickens, you know, it's just part of our morning here. What do you got? Oh, wow, yeah. Look at that. Like, what could this have belonged to that would have, and what happened to where this is all like exploded apart? That's crazy looking. A yellow piece? It's like a chunk of adamantium. <laughs> what the heck? Canada, this is a whole pipe. It's like something out of Fallout 4, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, it is hinged. It's like a, a hatch or something. That yeah. looks like a hole. What the hell? Jeff! Yo! Oh, dude, I thought you were in the chicken <laughs> coop. Where did you come from, dude? I come from here. No measure. You got to jump the creek and look at this shit. <laughs> what is this? Look at that. Oh, I know what this This is one of them. Um, That's yours? So they, used to, they used to bring the irrigation down. This is the pipe like we dragged that day. Oh, yeah? Okay. This is, this one, of those? one of those. That looks modern, but what is this? Right? Oh, Look at that giant piece of cast iron shit. Yeah, that's what he just found this right up there too. I just carried that down. And then look at this, it's like a hatch. Almost reminds me of a piece of like a backhoe or something. That's right? Maybe a piece of a piece of equipment. Maybe a piece of that old uh, tractor. Look at that. There, just watch your hands under there. I know, snakes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> felt that too. <laughs> I know, I took a chance there. Yeah. I knew. Uh, I had done it a minute ago and tested it. I didn't want to hear one of them noise. <laughs> no. So there's that pipe right there. See that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a piece of it. Okay. Yeah, back in the day when one of this, the earthen dam had broken, mm. that was how they brought the water down to the apple orchard was via all these aluminum. Gotcha. Pipes. But this is like... Again, we have to put our targets. We'll put flags up and then we'll just come out with the backhoe and we'll just <laughs> dig up everything. Yeah, this is weird, man. Man, how about the amount of bugs this year? Why I know, there's sex? a lot more moisture. You got mosquito on your forehead right now. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I got another Oh, no. <sighs> cool. I do not like those biting it. Oh, look at, look at this side right there. Oh, yeah, that's like a drive shaft or something. What? See, that looks like, or something, you know? Like a fence post. I don't even know what that would oh, be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. You going to go for it? Yeah, let's go for it. Is your mic on? Yep. Okay, cool. More junk. Oh. Man, there's mosquitoes everywhere. Into the rock. Whoa. What's happening, Odie?
Something major going on up here, dude. Yeah. Tons of crap. Basically everywhere you look, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we could spend all day just poking around. That is a weird rock right Look at this one. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like a formed piece. Look at that. Railing or something? Yeah. That's like decorative. One yeah. after the other. <laughs> what? Look at that agate. That's super cool. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. More cast. The cast arrow was big around here, huh? Yes, cast iron. Wow. Oh. Oh, look, oh, there's a hooky seat. Dude, I want to figure out what that yellow hatch thing is. Oh. Hair is just crap everywhere. Oh gosh. Our pile is growing and growing. This is, they can't even plan this shit, yeah, dude. Just, it's just like, we're just imagine. walking out here. It's just coming out of the ground. Piece. I don't even know what to say, man. A huge piece? Right there. All, oh, yeah, look at that. I tried to give it a pull, but it's... Well, I say we go up uh, and look at the mine again and let's check out that what looks like a collapsed building up there. Let's do it. Yeah. Here, here's the answer to today's metal question, unlimited. Yeah, we always joke, we're like, who's going to be the first one to find anything? And then it's like, oh, how about everyone finds... Yeah piles of stuff today yeah man what is this it's like a mounted onto something and then there's this loop well, coming we had on the other part that had the loop yeah you know it almost reminds me of a fencing style of something but what do i know I know if we keep digging this thing out, or if we actually dig this thing out, we're probably going to find a lot more in here. We have the cowboy boots with the pants that turned up on the trail clear up there. The gun. Above the dam. The handle. The gun with the handle. Which winds up being a 1930s toy 1930s gun. 1930s toy Cast cap iron. gun, yes. And we're going to go up there and, yeah, all that's a cap gun. The kid's pants, the kid's boots. Yes. I wonder what's in those boots. Is there, is there, was, is there still feet in the boots? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Look at that bottle now. Look at how it's changing. We took it out of the water and now it's oxidizing. Like, they were, like, why would it do that? Look at that. Maybe it's that era of bottles that was built with these, uh, that bad stuff in it. I don't know what they actually call that. Like I'm giving myself cancer right now. Put it down, quick. Does it wipe off? I think that's the glass. That's like part of the glass. Yeah. Look at it. Yeah, look. It's even in the edge of the glass there. Well, we never checked that hole to see if the if there was if the rest of it. Should we go see if we can find the top? If you feel like getting your feet wet. <laughs> we'll come up here and show Kyle and Axel where it's at. Let them get dig. Their feet wet. Give them the metal detector and let them go. Yeah, I don't think we want barefoot in this creek, huh? An awful lot of metal. Rust. This looks crazy. like uh, I don't know what they would like. Some kind of a oil or yeah, a chemical process was different used in this bottle. She reminded us that we wanted to take a look at that. Jeff, yeah, Odie is always like exactly what we we're talking about going to look at next. Look at her. We were just saying. 
We should go look at this sled. Just watch your steps through the bushes. See if the, uh, I know you gotta watch for snakes right now. Oh yeah. Could this have been what they were putting down the railing into the minecart path? That's where we're headed. So follow these power lines up there. There's the sinkhole with the minecart going into the ground that we found. And this has been sitting here since day one. This has always been here? Yep. How does Odie always know? Everybody in the comments on my videos always says that too. Like Odie's always like precognitive here. She's running ahead of us in there every time we get there, right? It, we turn around, we're like, where's the peak of the hill we're looking for? And she's standing on it every time, right? Every time. Above us. Above us, looking down like, here it is. Mm. <laughs> You're like a mind reading dog. Yeah, so this is an unexplained yeah. piece of mining or something history. Heavy duty though, look at this. Yeah. Wow, look at this rock. Look at that chunk, dude. Oh yeah. Did that come off the cart? We're gonna find out. So have you ever measured like the width of the rails on this? No. Nah. What if it this was what was going up and down underground? Dragged by that uh, pulley system and chain up here. You know? What is it? Got mice under there? Yeah, an unexplained piece. Did not know where it came from. Do not know where it came from. But if it's the same width, that will be interesting. Let's see. Yeah, we don't even know the other side of the railing, but this is I have no. a size 12. One. Yeah. Oh, you can actually get the that thing Two. does that. Oh, wow. I don't know how accurate That's exactly 3 feet. Yeah. 3 feet wide. You imagine that baby was coming up and down from somewhere. That fits about the right size, you would think. What if this whole hill is what they were digging up out? That's why there's no trees growing right here. No topsoil? No topsoil. It's all this gravelly stuff with this uh, chunks of quartz and everything in it. So Spread they out and down the hill towards the lake. And then here's one of the carts dragged up and left. So let's just put this all together now we're gonna walk up the hill <clears throat> does the mine come this way under the mountain or does it go north <laughs> there's a big chunk of ceramic look at that that's like a handle to like a whole coffee cup There's even an unexplained pile too. I've never even taken Morning it coffee, sir. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, what is this mess? Now all of this stuff that just looks like rubble has an has is evidence. Yes, yep. Things change. Things change. We walk by, by these piles dozens of times and then suddenly there you know there could be things in them. because we know where to look now. So here's this one odd set of power lines that comes off, runs up here to this building. Go ahead. Nope. I'm following you. I'm a All cameraman right, right now. <laughs> A whole different set of eyes now crazy i know when you come back out here now it's like we're looking for the sinkholes and little pipe drill entrances look here's like these cinder blocks these thin ones metal pieces everywhere cans bottoms all cast iron like pneumatic air compressed steampunk like stuff yeah look at that Big spring of sort. Oh, a little more scrap. What the heck? Power line cable cut there. Support cable. Let's 
sinkhole right here. And then this is when we first realized how deep this goes. You picked up a rock and moved it and that dropped it down in there. Dropped yeah. down in there. It sounded like it fell down a pipe 20 feet deep right in that hole. And then there's this. Unless the other rail is on this side, yeah, yeah. under and the chain, the, chain's the chain goes yeah, right underneath yeah. the bottom to pull it up, yeah. right? So the sled could have sat right there, slid right in the middle, and then been pulled up and down to go into the mine portal, going right under the mountain there. Yeah, we've been climbing Just, down. Yeah, I mean, you got to you know, take your own rock chances, to see sir. Hear noise and that type of stuff. We don't. That could fall, go down twenty feet for all we know. No idea. Like well, by the time we clear all this out, it could be a lot deeper than we realize. And this could just be the top of a whole structure. That was our discussion last night. All of a sudden, someday we open up and there's a, you know. We realize we're standing on the top of a scaffolding and didn't realize yeah, and it. Barely you know. like hanging. And <laughs> thousands, tons of dirt, wood, like this, steel. We don't know. See, it could be a... This is like the foundation of a whole building. See, if you look up towards the mountain, right here, How this far whole is it from thing the, is like a big track, rectangle. Let's say to the chain. From there to there, it's a, a 12 and a half inches according to the... To the middle? To the middle. So then go from there, from your foot to... Well, I mean, if that's the middle... If the middle was the chain? 24, 25 inches, right? True. I mean, if that was in the middle, yeah. Like a 13 ish, you're looking at 26 inches, two feet. Two feet? Yeah. And, so and then this is kind of amazing. Dual this whole chains and it's wider. I don't know. Yeah. It's We have to just dig it out and see. It, that might not be the sled either. We're just speculating, but it's interesting. See how this is a big sinkhole here now that goes way down in? And this here, and look, this is like a beam or something coming across. It's all caving in now. Look at that. I mean, look at this crack. That's like brand new. Yeah, there's some all of this that's new even since I was up here all last. All the way across. These holes here. Look at this big hole going in. Right? That goes way down in there, man. Yeah, like, again, I don't like have I said, any idea what I'm standing on at top a of. This in the future, and there's a giant open cavern, and you're standing on it. Fast forward a year from now, when we excavate all this, and all my, we have no idea we, what we're standing on top of right now. Like, here's the whole side of this concrete, this foamy concrete that we found down in the lower meadow, and all of this pressed into big blocks, cinder blocks come up here and then it gets really bizarre because you've got all of this now taking our chances gonna walk out on top of it look this is a deep sub pump this is like a mining pump to draw water up out from under the earth, and so is this. So last time I wasn't sure. I speculated that this was like, that this pipe was like cut on purpose, but really this is how they draw the water in, into the pipes to suck it up out of the mine. And then right here, if I can get by here, Dan, you've got this big chain and pulley system and the railing going all the way down. Right under here. Look at this. And the railing here where the wheels would have sat and going down into the earth. See? No chain. Sketchy walking on this man. Yep. Makes me very nervous. That's why I stay above the crack. 
I got to get the, the money shot, man. These days after, yeah, I hear you. Look at that hole. How far down does that go, man? Oh, I'm going to get off of this. This is creeping me out, dude. This is like a whole sinkhole. That goes way into the ground. I think it goes that way under the mountain and then it could go into a whole cavern. And then look how this is all cleared out. Well, I did this. This is where I get right dirt, here. Yeah, fill from. And that's like I said, I've been working my way up this way, and that's how this is basically. And then behind us here is the all the flake zone where we find arrowhead flaking, spearhead stuff, indigenous artifacts all over in the forest here, mixed in with all of this steampunk air hammer mining equipment there's like piles of wood and everything back over here we walked around found a couple of things last night we've got to walk over there to show you because it's super weird somebody in the comments tell me what the hell this stuff is m w r she had a lot of history in this place for sure we're at the top here oh yeah Oh! Any basement cuttings around here? 